Lebo is very energetic. He is extremely adaptive and smart and um, funny. So when we read his chart, there would be a lot of medical care that he required. Um, so we asked the physician um, to review his chart with us to kind of further explain the diagnoses. We were nervous, but we knew that um, we felt very strongly that he was meant to be our son. When we first met Labo, he was on a skateboard. That was how he got around. That was how we met him. He was on a, he was on a skateboard. <laughs> I mean, to, if he needed to get somewhere, he had big calluses on both of his knees from crawling everywhere. He had never really seen a wheelchair before. He had a walker, but he never used it. And he basically just spent his whole life on his belly. When you have a child that has needs for us, we committed to Labo. Um, and when we found out he had needs, it was more like, how are we gonna address those needs? We didn't even know when we adopted him that this was an option or that this surgery existed. And here we were 10 miles from this doctor who people come from all over the world to see. Like I felt like the um, future just opened for Labo. Um, he told us, you know, Labo will walk. He'll walk independently after this surgery. And um, that was pretty incredible. <laughs> yeah. So Labo before surgery kind of scooted. Um, he, I mean, he could be up with a walker, but would scoot his legs. So the thought of independence for him, I mean, what that's like a, a mother's dream come true, you know? So, I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, the surgery was huge, and Dr. Parks is awesome, but probably the biggest part of his recovery was um, then therapy. And so we were at Children's five days a week. Um, some days three hours, some days one, but getting different therapies. So we've done that, we did that for, I mean, over 300 appointments. It's a hospital, but you, it Children's kind of becomes, um, uh, family to us and the things that make it that way is you know my son has a brother and his brother is part of our family and when we go he has a place to go there and he gets lots of attention in the sibling playroom and it kind of helps the whole experience of the family so knowing you know that Children's Miracle Network supports that and I think overall it, it feels to me like Children's Miracle Network a lot of the funding goes to kind of make Children's Hospital more than just a hospital it's the extra stuff that makes going to the hospital not so bad. Sometimes I think as families, when we're in the midst of lots of appointments and um, recovery and surgery and fighting our battles that we have, you kind of feel isolated. And when you hear of things like Children's Miracle Network and people giving back, you it, it automatically makes you feel like you have a community and support. So um, it's, it, it's a good, easy way to help families have a community and support. I, I'm incredibly proud of Lebo. I mean, there's there's lots of resources around him, but he gets up and does the work every day. I mean, he works harder than anybody I know, any adult I know, um, athletes. I mean, he everything is a challenge, and he never gives up. Lebo is determined, and um, I think with incredible supports around him, he has worked really, really hard. And Lebo's going to do something special in his life. I just know it. I, he's an incredible kid, and I just can't wait to see what the future is. Holds. Every day he's doing positive changes for his own life, so it's, it's amazing. <laughs> we should all be like that.